Before I start the video, off the top of your head, think of some of the hardest positions in football to play. Most likely, you thought of the quarterback, the corner, middle linebacker, or maybe even the left tackle. And you were absolutely right. But one position that a lot of people forget about is the center. A lot of people don't acknowledge the importance the center has until the ball is above the quarterback's head in a playoff game or just any other point in your season. The center is the leader of the offensive line. A lot of the time he's making audibles or adjustments before the play starts. And without the snap, there is no play. The whole offense starts off of the center. So if the center can't get the snap right, there is no play. Hi, I'm Dylan and I'm gonna teach you how to be a center. Let's get into it. The first grip is the grip I like to do. So I'm gonna call it the traditional grip. And all you do is grab it like you'd normally throw a football on the laces and then throw it between your legs. It's as easy as that. This snap creates a spiral when you throw it back or at least something close to a spiral. It's probably the easiest for the quarterback to catch. So I recommend this one. Another way you can grip the football when you snap it is called the watermelon grip. When you do this, you spin the laces of the football to your quarterback's dominant side. So my quarterback is right-handed. I'm gonna spin the laces to the right and I'm gonna put my hand over the tip of the football. So I'm kind of coning it. And then that's it. I recommend this for beginners because it's usually pretty consistent even if you haven't had any background with being a center. When snapping the football, you wanna keep your chest up and your butt down. This makes it so that you're ready to block as soon as you snap the ball. This makes it so when you snap the ball, you're already in great position to block someone because you're already in perfect technique. When snapping the football, you do not want to have your chest parallel to the ground and you do not want your butt up high. This is how long snappers usually finish and you're not going to be prepared for a block like this because a lot of long snappers are good at what they do and they'll be ready for someone. For a center, this is not what we want. And also, since this is how a long snapper finished, you could launch the ball over the quarterback's head. Remember that the center has an important job, and it can cost you points in an important game like this. Steelers fans, look away. In rushing. Well, and they start with a horrible snap all the way back to the two-yard line, and the Browns bounce it into the end zone where they wind up with a touchdown. Of all crazy things, you don't go to the playoffs for 18 years, and that is the way it starts in the first four. And that's all for this video. I hope this was a useful step for you learning how to become a center. And let me know if there's anything else you'd want to see.